When you first open up the program, make sure that you click Enable Macros for the program to run properly. The first tab is Annex. Here you need to type the information needed on the space provided. Hints will appear once you click the entry field. The second part is Worksheet. Each row on the worksheet represents a student. You can type 1 if they got it right or 0 if they got it wrong. Or you can also use zip grade for faster item analysis. Considering that you have already checked their papers using zip grade, all you have to do is just go to quizzes and then select the quiz name. You will then need to filter the correct class to get the correct data. Then go to quiz statistics and then download the standard format. Rename the file and then open it. You will then need to copy the results and then paste it onto the worksheet. The next part is analysis. The program automatically organizes the top 10 most learned and the top 10 least learned items. You will need to type or copy your content area from your table of specifications. After copying or typing the content area, you will need to type your interventions for the top 10 least learned items. These could be creating strategic intervention materials, offering remedials, and others. The last part is printing. You will need to place your school logo on the left and the division logo on the right. Just select your image and then drop it onto the form. Afterwards, you can then move or resize your image by clicking on it and then moving it to where you want it to be. The form is now ready for printing. You can use portrait or landscape and any size of paper that you want. 